Welcome to a brief overview of CasePoint, the premier case management solution based on Pivotal. We are currently looking at the Home Portal and have been granted security permissions by the CasePoint System Administrator. This will determine what forms we see, what data we can view and edit, and what tasks and processes we can run. The main home page gives me a browser style interface with a home page and a Google type search across CasePoint. CasePoint portals are integrated with SharePoint and are used to display key information, whether this is a list of cases I manage, a chart showing the status of these cases, or web parts from external websites, third party systems, or RSS feeds. I also have a display of information direct from my integrated Outlook, with CasePoint able to display my inbox, my calendar, and my task list directly directly on my portal. Each user can have additional portals or summarized views of CasePoint, with each focused on different areas in which they might work or showing different levels of detail, such as for their team or for the whole organization. Portals can also be personalized for each user. The left hand side of the screen gives me a task pad which shows me what tasks I can perform throughout CasePoint. This list is governed by my security rights and will change as I move through the various forms and portals in CasePoint. Across the top of the home page are the subjects or entities that I can work with. Two of these subjects are the organization and the contact entities. These are the key parties that can be linked with cases in various forms. Using the search functionality, I'll open the contact form for Ross Noble. I now have a full 360 degree view of all my dealings with Ross from a case management perspective and a history of all my interactions with Ross over time. On my task pad, CasePoint enables me to do all of the typical Outlook tasks directly, directly from within CasePoint. I can open one of the existing emails right from within CasePoint and I can see that I'm using the standard Outlook form and yet able to link these emails, meetings and tasks to multiple records in CasePoint so that all users can see the complete history of all interactions for any person, organisation or case. On the contact form, all the required contact information is there, is there too, with multiple addresses, phone numbers and email addresses. I can also see record name changes and link this, link this person to multiple organisations with different roles. CasePoint can easily be configured to capture any additional data for your organisation's needs. From this form, I can see that one of Bart's current cases is where he is the nominated respondent for a complaint made by a third party. We will now look at this case and see that CasePoint case management form Opening this form, the task pad has given us quick access to typical case management tasks we will perform, including the Outlook interactions. We can also move the case through various processes, from assessment to investigation, right through to closure. The top section of the case form summarises all of the key information we need to know about a case, from the unique system generated number to the stage and status of the case. Cases can be categorised in any number of ways and these are also easily configurable to suit your own analytical and reporting requirements. The primary complainant and respondent for this case are displayed in the summary section for easy review. The complainant may be anonymous or may have resulted from your own internal motions, while key information about the involved party can also be locked for this particular case. We continued by capturing information about the issues related to this case or complaint. These are then associated with one or more of the respondents of the case. At the completion of any case process, such as assessment, outcomes and next actions will then be entered. CasePoint enables an organisation to mandate what these issues, outcomes, reasons and actions will be by limiting users' choices to those set by CasePoint administrators. As a case is created, an initial assessment process is automatically assigned to the case, determining, determining the initial workflow or business process actions 
that must be performed by the assessment team. The set of actions or activities is copied in from a process template which determine the workflows and options for each process. These templates are maintained by a case point administrator. Case managers can easily see what has not been completed and can set automated notifications to be sent when work is done or have case points send reminders to the assigned user if an activity is overdue. Ad hoc tasks can be created and notes entered by the assigned team to member. They will then mark each activity as complete when it is done. Documents required for each of the cases can be generated using Case Point Letter Express, a mail merge using Microsoft Word and one of the administrator defined templates. These merged documents can be printed, emailed or faxed and can also be saved for future reference as an embedded document attachment. Additional documents can also be attached to the case record such as scanned stat decks or image files. These can then be easily opened and viewed directly from within the system. CasePoint is also integrated with SharePoint to provide a total document management solution and can also be integrated with other solutions such as Trim. Cases may also be linked for analysis and reporting purposes. All changes made to data within CasePoint can be logged so that case owners or administrators can go back and check who made what changes, when they were made and what were the previous values. Administrators are also able to check user access to the CasePoint system as a whole or to view specific types of records. CasePoint provides comprehensive searching and reporting capabilities. Search results can be exported in various formats including Excel or selected for inclusion in a report or a mail merge. Reporting is also easy from within CasePoint. Reports are created using the Crystal Reports Toolkit and once run by a user can be quickly generated to the screen and then printed or exported in a variety of formats. Record reports can also be run from the task pane for an individual report such as a case summary report or may also be scheduled using Crystal. Thank you for listening and looking. This completes our brief overview of CasePoint solution from Eclipse Computing. If you would like further information, please contact Daniel Martin on 03 9820 9200. Thank you.